Hi year one, I'm going to read you a story called Starry-Eyed Stan. Let's begin. Have you ever heard a starfish sing? I'm not sure if they can. Apart from one young boastful chap, a star whose name was Stan. One day he got up on the stage with fans all gathered around. And as he sang, they cheered and swooned. Oh, what a gorgeous sound. But the smell of all the creatures who dissembled in one spot attracted quite a nasty crab whose name was Lancelot. Mm, he said, what do we have here? A feast of fish galore. I'll eat my fill and then come back to munch on even more. Now when the fish saw Lancelot, they all began to flee. But starfish find that tricky, so they tend to freeze, you see. Young Stan still hadn't noticed that his audience had gone. He was caught up in the moment, so he carried singing on. So he continued singing on. Then Lancelot approached him with a hungry looking grin, but stopped and shouted, Oh, good gracious, what's that din? The tune was just too lovely for a crouchy crab to bear. You did it, all the starfish cried. You saved us with your flair. Please teach us all to sing as well. We need a new defence. But Stan just laughed. You'll never learn, because my talent's too immense. The next day, Stan was singing to an audience of eels when his show was, dis his show was interrupted by some not-so-distant squeals. Eek! Help! Then suddenly came a noise, a click, then a clack. Then everybody knew that Grumpy Lancelot was back. Stan, stru Stan st stood strong and faced him as he sang with all his might. But Lancelot looked different and seemed far less full of fright. Just as Stan had lost all hope, he heard a little yelp. It was Jay, a tiny starfish, who knew she had to help. Jay could hear her voice was wobbling as she struggled to sing with the song. And she knew for it to work, she needed more friends to sing along. So she hunted high and low behind the rocks and in the cave. And she begged the other starfish to join in and to be brave. Then one by one each starfish stood until they formed a crowd. And the sun began to grow as each one bellowed loud and proud. Vibrations moved the water and soon rocked the ocean bed. And the sound waves blew the ear defenders off. The crab's head. The crab just couldn't stand the noise and so he ran away. Then the singing turned to a crowd of, Yes, we did it! Oh, hooray! Stan stood humbly on the stage to thank his tiny friend and all the other starfish who had helped him in the end. He promised to make up for all the selfishness he had shown and he knew that he could not defeat old Lancelot alone. He told them all to meet him in the morning by the stage and to bring along their friends of any species, size or age. For Stan had formed a plan to keep the nasty crab away. With some music and some teamwork and best friends in the bay. And that's the end of our story.